Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from Digestive Disease Week 2011 in Chicago, Illinois. Encouraging results of the REALIZE trial showed that adding tilaprevir to the standard therapy for hepatitis C significantly improved outcomes for patients who didn't respond to the standard therapy. Tilaprevir, a protease inhibitor, was recently submitted for FDA approval. Why is it important to develop new treatments for hepatitis? Well, uh, the current standard treatment of uh, hepatitis C patients with uh, pegylidinferon and ribavirin, uh, when, you're, when, when they're given for about a year to patients who have genotype 1, the most common genotype uh, of hepatitis C in the United States, about 40% of these patients actually uh, achieve sustained virologic response. And if you actually look at the number of patients who do not respond, it's about 60%. So the vast majority of patients don't respond. So we need to have better treatment to increase the efficacy of, uh, of our treatment for hepatitis C patients, specific, specifically for patients who are infected with genotype 1. So what's important about development of new drugs, and the drugs the, that are closest to potentially becoming available sometime this year, are the direct acting, acting antiviral agents, specifically protease inhibitors. There are two of them, tilapavir and bursepavir. And both of these drugs have been uh, tested in randomized clinical trials and uh, uh, they have shown efficacy for both treatment naive, these are patients that have never been treated, as well as uh, treatment experienced patients. The study that's currently being presented at Digestive Disease Week in uh, Chicago uh, uh, is uh, regarding tilapavir, which is uh, being given in combination with uh, uh, interferon, pegyl interferon ribavirin for 12 weeks, followed by another uh, 32 weeks of, uh, of receiving just pegylated interferon and ribavirin double therapy and patients who have genotype 1 and they are treatment uh, experienced uh, as previously. So giving or providing this regimen for these patients uh, containing the, 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 uh, the tilapavir containing regimen increases the sustained virologic response in all the, the, the groups of, of individuals who are treatment experienced. The, previous the, the, the uh, 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 relapsers, the partial responders, as well as the null responders, significantly more than just pegylated furon ribavirin double therapy. And the side effects of these drugs are uh, similar to what's been uh, reported in the past. So tilapavir uh, uh, containing regimen is going to add another, uh, uh, another uh, uh, great possibility for us. I have to also say that the data has been published for bursepavir for both treatment, uh, naive and treatment uh, experienced individuals, and that data is also uh, very promising in my view. What are the next steps? Well, the next steps would be for FDA. Uh, uh, the FDA panel met uh, uh, last week for both of these two drugs and made recommendations for both drugs to, uh, uh, to be approved. However, the, uh, these drugs are not approved yet, and we are hoping that they are, become, they are going to be approved and become available clinically in the next few weeks or months. And in my view, what's important is that there has to be a lot of education of physicians, healthcare givers, uh, so that once these drugs are available, they can become uh, uh, that it can be provided to patients in a safe and effective way, that we should also have a, a very uh, important and active discussion with payers so that these drugs can be, uh, uh, can be covered through health uh, insurance of these individuals. So these two things need to happen quite quickly. Uh, that's how we could probably provide the best uh, treatment for our patients with hepatitis C, especially genotype 1 patients.